Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new predictions video. I'm joined with Flame. What's going on, man? Yo. So payback. God, I hope it's a good pay per view, but it's not looking that way, is it? It's looking. Uh... Nice. No, it's not the best match card. I mean, we've got no world title matches. Brock Lesnar's not there. Yeah, nowhere to be Bray seen. Not the title, but. It's a little bit, I don't know, is the House of Horrors match going to pay off? Is it going to be good? Is it not? We'll have to wait and see. But we got the we got the match card. We're going to go through it, give you guys our predictions. I do these every, every pay-per-view. I'll probably be streaming on Twitch as well when payback, while watching payback probably. So link to Twitch will be in the description as usual. So let's start this off. The first match is Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Okay, so, hmm, wait, Enzo Bikas, Carl Anderson, where's the Hardys? This, uh, okay, so this is not even full, this is not even number one contender, this is nothing, so I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go Enzo, More and Big Cass. Flame? I'm gonna go Enzo and Cass as well, because the club got the better of them on Raw recently. Yeah. So, yeah. 50 fucking... Cruiserweight Championship, Neville versus Austin Aries. I think this is when Austin Aries will win the title. I thought Neville would retain at WrestleMania mm -hmm. just to give him that win at WrestleMania, but now I think he'll lose the title. All right, I'm actually going to go uh, with Neville on this one. No. All right, I just I I I put my trust in Aries once at Mania. It didn't pay off. I'm not gonna not that Neville again. I thought. I thought Neville would take it at Mania anyway, just to give him a victory, but now I think he's had the victory at Mania. I think yeah. they The Hardy Boys so, versus yeah. Cesaro and Sheamus. Hardy Boys, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> they're not going to make that. There's no way they're going to lose now. They will probably lose. They're not. It's, they're probably not going to keep yeah, the belts for a long, long time they, because they'll probably go in solo runs, but I don't think they're yeah. going to lose them now. Yeah, they will soon, like in a few, probably like sooner than we think in like a few months, because I've already heard that like Vince and Triple H are really big on Jeff, like they love Jeff. So so... And they want to push him again as a main eventer for the for the belt. So that's, I, I like that. You know, maybe we can get broken Matt, which would be good. Yeah. So we move on with Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. Personally, really looking forward to this match. Yeah, I think it could probably be the best match on the card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. will actually, and I'm gonna go with Samojo. I think if Samojo yes. doesn't win this, it's a huge mistake. So I'm going yeah, to Samojo. Samojo to give him that big victory because Seth doesn't need it right now. He's just beat Triple H, and his face run. He hasn't really got much of a character right now. So he's got a big win at Mania over Triple H. He can uh, afford to lose this match and maybe continue the the the, the Samojo Seth Rollins feud going into SummerSlam even. Um, yeah. Or to the next pay per view, maybe not SummerSlam. I don't even know. Is there another pay per view before SummerSlam? For Raw? Um, I think so. Yeah, there should be because SmackDown have got money in the bank. So. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure like yeah. SummerSlam's in August, isn't it? Sometime, yeah, around that. Oh, so like, there should be. Oh, yeah, plenty. Okay, never mind. Plenty of time then. Um, so, anyway, I'm going, I'm going Samoa Joe. And you, Flame? And you? Oh, yeah, I said Samojo as well because he needs the big win. Agreed. Agreed. Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. Mm. Oh, this is a tough one. As much as I yeah, want it is quite to win it. Yeah, definitely Alexa. She's my favourite. I want Alexa to win it. I really want Alexa to win it. But are they going to put it? I don't think so. I'm going to go with the Bailey win. Yeah, I agree. I think Bailey. I think Bailey's gonna have quite a lengthy run because before mm -hmm. Bailey really, Just he had the hot forth, potato with the bit, title. Yeah. So I think Bailey will go ahead and win it. Yeah, I think I think Bailey's gonna win. Mm -hmm. Although I I'd be all for that. And the penultimate match, the House of Horrors match between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. So for me, House of Horrors aside. <laughs> Okay, like that, I'm like not that. factoring that not into what I'm going to say about this match. Personally, it's been pretty boring for me ever since, like, kind of, like, even before Mania it was a bit boring for me, but I, you know, I held on, invested till the end to see if it would pay off a Mania. It didn't, 
and now I'm completely not invested in it anymore. And I found Randy very boring. Uh, a shame Bray Wyatt didn't win. So this feud, yeah, for me, I'm not looking forward to it that much. Now, with the House of Horrors on top of that, will it just be, will it just be a bad match? I'm not sure because it depends what they're actually gonna do in that match. It's, so apparently it's gonna it's, start it's, in the like, apparently it's gonna start like backstage and it's gonna go into the ring. Because their in ring work together hasn't been the best, so no, I think it definitely Randy, needs spicing up. Very boring. Yeah, they they're not. They just don't. I don't think they have like really good chemistry like against each other like together they, as a tag together team. Together they, they, they were good. good. Yeah, I've really enjoyed them. And ever yeah. since they, like, to be fair, the point where I really got kind of bored of the feud is as soon as they didn't turn Bray Wyatt face Randy heel after Randy burning down the. That 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 shed, well, shack. Yeah, there. made absolutely no sense. And that that was just that just kind of like made me off. off. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a. It's not for the. It's not for the title, is it? No, it's not. It's confirmed. It's not. No. So I'm gonna go the. I'm gonna go with the Randy Orton win with a distraction Ooh. from Finn Balor. No, no I, th- I personally think that Bray's going to get the win here because Randy got the better of him at mm. WrestleMania. And I think that it's not a WWE title match now for that reason. And that reason only because they're going to give Bray the victory. With his big move to Raw now, he needs the momentum. Yeah, that's so that's true. That's true. And the last match, there. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. I'm going Braun on this one. I know every time I bet against Roman, it comes back to bite me. Even that mania, I did predict Roman, and that was good. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, Braun. All the momentum's been on his side. The like really good spots, really good like the key moments of the last couple of weeks on Raw have all been Strowman, Strowman, and Strowman uh, for three weeks now. So um, yeah, going. It would make no sense if you give him all that momentum just to lose against Roman Reigns, who's already got the win at, uh, uh, at Mania against The Undertaker, and who just definitely can afford to lose against against uh, Braun. So I'm going to go with the Braun win. What do you think, Flame? Um, I'm surprised, firstly, because I thought it was going to be like an ambulance match stipulation or something. Like That's what yeah, I was hearing a really for a while. Good point. That's a really good point. Apparently, it's just the normal match, which they had at Roadblock. But if you remember, at Roadblock, Roman Reigns got the victory, so I think this is where they're going to give the edge to... Braun Strowman because he's he's on fire right now and that if they give Roman another win over him it's not going to be the but, best uh, no, decision. So I'm saying Braun, but that's that's what I'm hoping happens. Yeah, if they have any. Apparently, way. so this is this is what is speculated. The, um, it's answered my question as well about the uh, is Raw going to have another pay per view SummerSlam? They are. They've got a uh, Extreme Rules. Before SummerSlam. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Then, so it's another apparently stick. they um, they're gonna have a rematch, Roman Braun at Extreme Rules with with the stipulation, obviously. So that's that's oh. what I speculated. Oh, that might have changed my opinion then, because Re- Reigns could probably win this, and then Braun wins the ambulance match then. Because if you think in an ambulance match, Reigns doesn't have to be pinned, which is. Which is yeah, exactly. That's, that's a good yeah. point. Nah, I'm, I'm, nah. yeah, I think Roman. I'm changing it. I think Reigns now. You're going with Reigns. Now I know that. <laughs> I think Reigns. Okay. Because I don't yeah. think they're gonna have Braun go over Roman twice. I just, I just can't see it. Okay, and I'm gonna go with Braun Strowman. But there we go. Thank you guys for watching this video. Tell me your predictions down in the comments. Um, let me know as well if you prefer it when there's two of us or even more giving you our predictions. It's gonna be an. It's we'll we'll see if it's gonna be a good pay per view. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it like beats my expectations because right now I'm kind of rating it to be just a bit a bit short to be a, a really good pay per view. I mean the pay per views after Mania aren't always the best. So anyway, thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.